What are the best booster packs to invest in in 2021? Well, today I'm going to be showing you all of the booster packs I've recently purchased and we're going to have a little chat about them and see why they could be the best. So let's get into it. What's up, guys? How's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing well. Now, before we do get into today's video, I just want to announce that this Saturday, the 2nd of October, I'm doing a live box break of this booster box right here, which is a vivid voltage booster box. We are hunting for the rainbow rare Pikachu, as you can see right in front of the box. Uh, there are also so amazing rares in this set as well so it's going to be an absolute amazing time it's going to be an awesome event so packs are currently live on my website they're going very very quickly uh, be sure to check out pokedean.com the link will be in the description i believe there's like 10 packs left so you're going to have to act quick if you want to get involved with the packs and the box break um, but yeah that is going to happen this saturday i'm super excited but back to the video at hand and like i said today we're going to be looking at a load of booster packs so if you do enjoy this video be sure to leave a like and if you are new and do like the content consider subscribing hit that sub button and uh, join the gang but as you can see right here, I have a load of load of booster packs and uh, I'm going to move them away and we're going to go through them one by one. But as you can see, there are a lot to talk about in today's video and uh, I'm going to be explaining to you guys why I believe that they could be the best packs to uh, purchase and why I have purchased them uh, myself. So actually, do you know what? In three, two, one one boom there we go they have disappeared and like i said we're going to go through them one by one so first and foremost this is in no particular order um but we're going to go for this set right here and it is sword and shield base set now i have a full artwork here and you know what i'm going to zoom in a little bit so you guys can see these a little bit better uh so yeah the first set is sword and shield base i always go on about this set uh recently because i do genuinely believe it has some really really good cards in there and a lot of people kind of slept on it a little bit uh but yeah you have the likes of the first ever gold cards in the Sword and Shield era. This is the first set of the Sword and Shield era. So we have the likes of the Gold Zation and the Gold Zamazenta, which in my opinion are the best gold cards uh, that have come out of the Sword and Shield era so far. Um, I think they're really, really cool cards. And I genuinely think that in the future, people are going to come back to them and try and pull them because they do look really, really nice. So this is the first set. Um, and they're also it's quite gen 1 heavy as well There's quite a lot of gen 1 Pokemon that are really good Like you have the Lapras V Max, you have the Snorlax V Max as well So I personally believe that that is an incredible set to get into, uh, get involved with uh, Next up we're going to go for this set right here which is Darkness Ablaze Now you probably know why I have picked these uh, packs And once again we have a full art set We have the Grim Snarl, we have the Eternatus We have this boy right here The V Max Charizard as well as the Send Scorch But yeah the main reason I've gone for this set is purely because of this guy right here, which is the first ever VMAX Charizard. And what an epic card it is. Remember, there are a load of versions of this card. We have the shiny VMAX from Shining Fates. We have the uh, Rainbow Rare from Champion's Path. And we also have the original which is from Darkness Ablaze uh, right here. So I believe people are going to want to come back to this set in the future uh, because this is the original VMAX card. This is the set that had the first ever one and it is an awesome card as well. I've actually pulled this twice, uh, once for myself and one for you guys in a box break and hopefully in the future I can do more and uh, get someone else another one. But um, yeah, I genuinely believe this is an awesome set. In terms of the cards in this set, there isn't that much else that is amazing. I will say it's a good, it's a, it's a well-rounded set but the the, Char the charizard is definitely the main headline of it um and then other than that there isn't that much that kind of competes with it but also at the same time like i said this is an iconic set because it has the first ever uh charizard v max now moving on to another set we're still in the sword and shield era uh i'm going for vivid voltage i genuinely believe that this set is epic uh one of my favorite sets in um the sword and shield era and like i mentioned at the beginning of this video i am actually doing a box break of this this saturday the 2nd of october because it was highly requested a lot of you guys wanted me to do it um i managed to get a box and we are going to be hunting for this guy right here the rainbow rare v max pikachu pikachu one of the most popular pokemon it is the mascot of pokemon so um it's always going to have that hype and it's such an awesome card having that rainbow rare there's also amazing rares for instance we have the likes of the amazing rare celebi uh these are the first uh, the first set that has these sorts of cards, which are amazing rares. There's only an, one other set that has amazing, amazing rares so far, which is um, Shining Fates. And in my personal opinion, amazing rares are definitely one of the best cards that have come out of the uh, Sword and Shield era. I think they're absolutely incredible. So in a booster box, uh, you actually are guaranteed two amazing rares. So genuinely think that this set is going to be a super fun set like forever uh, a lot of people are going to come back to it because they're going to want to hunt for this card but not only that 
we have another really cool element to this set in with the um the amazing res and there's also actually a charizard in this set too so i feel like this has some really nice elements to it and uh definitely one that is going to want people to come back and open it up and collect as well also the artwork is just really cool as well we have the real real nice variety of pokemon we have the celebi the zarude the pikachu and then the infamous orbital which for me is the troll card of the set um every every set has that troll card that you always pull and for me it was orbital so moving on to the next set we're actually moving out of the sword and shield era we're going back in time a little bit um we are actually going to go for do you know what? actually i'm going to get these ones out of the way with first it is these japanese sets right here which i think is the japanese equivalent to vivid voltage but just look how amazing this art set like this artwork is on these packs like genuinely love them i'm not the biggest japanese collector but i definitely might start collecting sealed packs purely because they are so so damn good like look how awesome that looks i know for a fact that the 25th anniversary artwork uh, in japan looks incredible so i might have to try and get my hands on that but yeah i also think it's worth just maybe picking up some japanese packs like it's just a cool little investment a lot of people like myself love the artwork of them and um i genuinely think they're worth uh, getting your hands on so that's them but anyway moving back uh i have gone for we're going for this set right here which is hidden fates now you guys probably know hidden fates is one of my favorite sets in the modern era i think it genuinely is like top three if not top one like this is one of the best sets we've had in a long long time it came out in 2019 so it's nearly two years old now uh but we have the likes of the shiny charizard gx which is just a beautiful card i still haven't pulled it yet um which is literally mad seeing as it's been out for two years uh we have the legendary birds in this set we have a shiny mewtwo we have a uh we don't have a mew gx which is unfortunate but it would have been cool if we got a shiny mew but in terms of pack artwork this is beautiful like genuinely and like i said i think that hidden fates is the best set in the modern day era genuinely i think it's incredible so whenever i can i'll always pick up some hidden fates packs because they are like people love them they're gen 1 heavy as well so they accommodate for all the pokemon fans and uh, they're just a super fun set to um to to invest in and, and play and open with next up i'm going for burning shadows another full art set here now the reason i've gone for burning shadows this set is from the sun and moon era uh, I genuinely believe that this set is going to be a a very good set that people want to come back for in the in the future because it has a rainbow rare Charizard in this set. It's the first ever set that has the rainbow rare Charizard. Um, it's a super super hard card to pull as well. The pull rates in this set are very very difficult to get the charizard so um i know a lot of people in the past in the, i keep saying in the past in the future are going to want to come back and try and hunt for this charizard so i definitely thought it'd be worth picking up a full art set of it uh we also have a ho-ho gx in this set as well some really cool cards to be fair but the main headliner again is that charizard uh, the rainbow rare charizard as well so moving on to another set i'm gonna go for team up this is from sun and moon as well so the next couple sets i'll show you are definitely going to be from the sun and moon era which was the era before uh sword and shield so just before the the set we're using at the moment or the the era we're using uh team up was the first set that had tag team pokemon in now as you see each artwork has two pokemon here we have a venusaur and celebi we then have a snorlax and eevee we have a gengar and mimikyu and then we have a pikachu and a zekrom so definitely think that this set is going to be a, a kind of um nostalgia set because or iconic set because it has the first ever tag team pokemon in and the tag team cards are incredible genuinely they are super super cool like genuinely love them you have the pikachu zekrom card which was a very very used card in the um tcg it's actually just come out of a rotation but it was an oh it was a ridiculously good card so yeah team up is definitely one set i think is worth investing in uh one i'm investing in as you can see i have a full art set here uh but yeah i genuinely think it's going to be an awesome set now these sets by the way are all from the twenty thousand uh, dollar collection i bought recently if you haven't checked that video out be sure to do so uh but yeah i saw these in this in uh the person's collection i thought i need to get these so up next is unbroken bonds uh this is another sword and uh, sun and moon set sorry and this set is one of my favorite sets like genuinely this was probably one of the sets that i came back to opening um pokemon cards on my channel with so really really like this set it has the charizard or reshiram and charizard card which has three versions in this set you have the normal gx 
you have the full art GX and then you have the rainbow rare GX which is a it's just a beautiful card I still need it I genuinely would love to grab that in a PSA 10 at some point uh, but yeah Unbroken Bonds for me has that nostalgia feel because it's when I pretty much started this this set came out and I pretty much wanted to start making my Pokemon channel um, and also it has just some iconic Charizard cards in with the uh, Reshiram Charizard tag team so I know a lot of people are going to want to come back to this set and try and pull that card as well so I definitely think that that's worth picking up uh, next up is a pretty slept on set in the Sword and, uh, Sun and Moon era. Sorry, I keep saying Sword and Shield. It is Unified Minds. This set came out in between, uh, I believe, it came out after Unbroken Bonds and just before Hidden Fates, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and a lot of people were kind of more focused on Hidden Fates like coming out. That I, I have a feeling they were saving their money. Um, and Unified Minds kind of got slept, slept on because it has this really cool... Mewtwo Mew tag team card in. It has a full art version, which is insane. It has a rainbow rare, which is insane as well. And uh, yeah, this just this set just is really, really cool. And a lot of people didn't really open it because I think that they were mainly waiting for Hidden Fates, but managed to get a full art set. As you can see, it's more team up Pokemon or tag team Pokemon, sorry, um, which is really cool. Like look at that Umbre on there. Like the artwork is just beautiful. If it wants to focus, it's more focused. There we go. Uh, and then ov obviously my favorite card from this set is the Mewtwo Mew tag team. I think it's just beautiful. So no next set, uh, we're going to go for, we're going to go for this one. Third to last set, we have Cosmic Eclipse, another Sun and Moon era set. It was actually the last set that came out in the Sun and Moon era. This was the final set before we went into uh, Sword and Shield. And Cosmic Eclipse, Eclipse sorry, was slept on massively again. This came out after Hidden Fates. And uh, I feel like a lot of people were still on the Hidden Fates hype when this set came out. And it, it featured some really, really cool tag team Pokemon. It had a lot that had like the starter OG Pokemon. As you can see here, we have a Blastoise and Piplup. Um, we have just some really cool cards as well. And not only that, in this set, you had some character secret cards or secret rare character cards, which had like one which was red and Pikachu, which is a like amazing card. I'd love to get down a PSA 10 as well. So there are some really cool um, tag team Pokemon in this set. And the boxes for a Cosmic Eclipse are pretty expensive as well, which is ridiculous. Like this set is very popular and uh, a lot of people really like it and want to come back to it. I, th I feel like... It came out, people were still opening him fates, and then they realized how amazing the set was. And then we were actually like kind of not getting as many um, as as people wanted. So it's kind of gone up in price massively. So second to last set, I've gone for Shining Legends. This set is incredible. This is another holiday set which came out in 2017, I believe, uh, which is kind of the holiday set before Hidden Fates. And uh, this features like a, a like shining Pokemon, which was a which was a set from I can't remember what set it was in the Watsi era. That's actually going to bug me, but it's kind of like uh, going back to shining Pokemon. It's really really cool. We have the shining Rayquaza, shining Genesect, shining Mew, and then there's also a Mew Tube card, which is a, a test tube Mew Mewtwo, which is really really cool, and it goes for quite a bit as well. So. People really love this set and this set, these packs are actually quite expensive as well. They're going up in price and they are pretty expensive seeing as this only came out in 2017. So really, really cool uh, to get the, the the Shining Pokemon in this set and uh, it's just an awesome set to collect. So that was a full art set as well. And then the final set before I show you one last pack is obviously Evolutions. Now this is a reprint of base set basically uh, we have some really cool cards in this set you obviously have the base set charizard in a hollow and reverse hollow you have a full art um mega charizard G uh, no ex which is insane um there are just some insane cards in this set and this is the set that actually got me back into opening pokemon cards back in 2016 uh when it was the 25th anniversary this is kind of regarded as semi a 20 20th anniversary set um and yeah it's just it just brings back that nostalgia for me because i grew up on base set and this is like a, a way to open it in my back then for me because um they were going for pretty cheap and you still kind of got to experience opening like old cards and seeing the the reprints of the base set so yeah this set for me nostalgia wise is just up there because it brought me back into the pokemon uh, tcg and it got me back into collecting as well so very very much happy with that set and i love it and i'm, I'm always going to have to keep a a set for me and then last but not least guys i have right here in front of me my first ever sealed 
Wizard of the Coast Team Rocket Booster Pack. Now, this is my first ever Wizard of the Coast sealed pack. Um, this was in the $20,000 collection I bought. And uh, I'm just super, super happy that it's here. Like, I don't know whether to open it. I don't know what to do with it. I've weighed it and it is around 21 grams, uh, which can basically mean it's borderline, could be a heavy, could be a light. I don't have the weight of the box to be able to determine whether it was light or heavy for that box. Uh, but yeah, I'm just really happy that I have a sealed Wizard of the Coast pack. Like, look at the artwork on this Team Rocket pack. You got the Gyarados, you got Electrode Gloom, Charmeleon in the background. I think it's just awesome. And I don't know what I don't know what to do with it. I don't know whether to open it. I don't know whether to keep it sealed. Maybe give me some suggestions in the comment section down below. Uh, I'll always be appreciated to hear what you guys think I should do with it. Uh, but yeah, just once I'm just super happy to be able to own this and uh, I do plan on getting more Hopefully I can get a base set pack at some point. I'd love to get jungle fossil uh, Sky Ridge like there are so many what packs I would love to be able to hold and own myself, but I already have a team rocket pack so guys that is going to wrap up this video hopefully you have enjoyed it like i did say at the beginning of this video uh, i am doing a vivid voltage box break this saturday 2nd of october if you want to get involved and get a pack the link is in the description or go to pokedean.com um i'll see you in the next video if you have enjoyed this video and made it to this far please hit that like button and also consider subscribing if you enjoy pokemon content but yeah i'll see you in the next video guys have a great day until then i am out